Ever since I mentioned in my coming back episode that um, I was going to show you how to control Linux with your Android device, I just figured I would pull out my old laptop here, and as you can see, it is running Ubuntu. This is the LTS, and you'll see that we got the regular desktop going on. I know you probably can't see too well. Let's go ahead and launch Firefox web browser, and you will see here that it is going to launch and the computer is facing the camera. How am I controlling it? This is a pretty neat little thing that you can do with uh, your Android device. And of course, you can see here, I've got a boot to on the phone. Not really, I'm just remotely accessing this computer using a high-speed connection. I'm gonna show you not only how to do that, how to control your phone with your computer and we're going to do this the easy way you noobs will be able to do this too and we're going to do that right now on Spatry's cup of linux Welcome to Ubuntu Boot Camp Extra. I figured I'd add this to the Ubuntu Boot Camp since obviously um, I'm going to be doing this uh, exercise today on Ubuntu. And there are a few things you're going to need to get to be able to control your Android from your computer or control your computer from your Android device. So let me go ahead and let's pull up my uh, Android phone now. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Google Play. And in the search field here, I'm going to type in TeamViewer. And press Enter. There are two programs you are going to need to get. TeamViewer for remote control will allow you to access your home computer uh, from this, uh, from your Android device, and then you have the Team Viewer Quick Support, which will allow you to access your Android device from your home computer and control it remotely. So you'll need these two applications installed. I already have these installed on my phone. Next, let's get Team Viewer. And then I'll just visit their website and then press download. Naturally, it detects that I'm running Linux. At this point, you will want to uh, pick the package specific to your distribution. In this case, I'm running a 64-bit Ubuntu. So I'm going to select this one, and then it's going to ask what you want to do with it. I'm just going to tell Firefox that I want Ubuntu Software Center to open this. Now, if you're using a bare-bones install of Ubuntu, please make sure that you update your system first before installing this program. This will open up in the Ubuntu Software Center, allowing you to install it. Um, you may get an IA32 libs problem, and if that is the case, you will need to double check and make sure that all updates have been installed and that you have the following feature enabled. Under Settings, recommended updates for Precise Penguin must be checked right here, this second box. Make sure all updates are installed, and then you can try and install this package again, just in case you run into that error. I know I ran into it, and uh, that was the fix. Okay, next you'll want to open TeamViewer. I went ahead and put it here, but you can also go into the dash and find it. Now, I am already connected to my phone, um, 
And so just by launching the application on your phone, it will give you a partner ID number that you will want to type in and it's located here. And then just press connect to partner and then you will get a dialog that appears asking if you want to allow such connection. And then of course, if everything works out just right, you will have access to your Android device. Now, let's say you want to uh, connect to the computer. Okay, well then we need to actually run that program and let's see if it will let me do that from here. Now to remote control your other computer, first, one thing I recommend that you can do here is put in a personal password or you can ha use the password as a default. I typed in a personal password for connecting and then, of course, this ID number. So I will select that ID number. And it will connect. It will ask for the password. And as you can see here, I have broken the space-time continuum because we are actually looking at this desktop here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm actually accessing the desktop from the device and I'm uh, actually remotely accessing my device at the same time and I've literally broken the space-time continuum there. So pretty much it's really simple to figure out. Well, I hope you guys found this to be useful. This program is free for your personal use, but not for commercial purposes. So please, 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 whatever you do, don't use it for commercial purchases. Please support them and get a license if you're going to use this commercially. Well, that's all I have on this subject right for now. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.